Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to use Virtual Care Manager with PIV exemption and connecting to your VA Video Connect appointment while using CAG. Note, if you missed the first video on accessing CAG with your PIV credentials, we recommend reviewing before this video. Also, there are three steps you should follow to ensure you have access to Virtual Care Manager. First, you should be on the VA network. Second, you must have the OR CPRS GUI chart secondary menu and you must ensure your PIV card is linked to the same VISTA instances. Instruction for linking your PIV can be found on the link located on the VCM website. Let's get started. Launching Virtual Care Manager will take you to the VA single sign-on page. If you do not have a PIV card reader, you will need to use your VA credentials. Located under the PIV card sign-on, select the option View Other Sign-in Options. In the pop-up window, select Sign-in with the VA Network ID. At the sign-in window, enter your username and password. Note, you do not have to enter your domain before your username. Once logged in, I can see the two locations where my VISTA credentials are linked. I will select Minneapolis and tap Continue. Once VCM loads, it opens to the staff contacts view. This view allows me to see all my past and upcoming appointments depending on the date ranges I select. To create an appointment, tap the Create Unenrolled Group Video Visit button. Several options will display. Let's take a closer look. Since I'm creating a single appointment, I will leave the Unenrolled Veteran Radio button checked. Next, I am asked if the appointment is for me. If I were a scheduler creating an appointment for a clinician or my PAC provider, I would select No. However, since I am the provider in this example, I will leave Yes selected. Now I must verify my email address. Then choose a date, time, and duration for the appointment. You will then need to enter the veteran's email address and information. If the veteran has a caregiver that they want or need to attend, you can enter the caregiver's information as well. And lastly, you can invite other VA staff to join. Once complete, tap Create. A verification window will appear, and after reviewing, I can tap OK. And as you can see here, I have already received my VA Video Connect appointment email. If I go to my VA email and select the VVC notification, I can see all the details for my upcoming visit. And if we take a closer look at the email, I see that the alias and PIN are provided. You will need this information to connect to your appointment. CAG restricts the use of your camera, so you will need to minimize your remote desktop window and open a secondary window. I have done that here. On the right is my CAG desktop, and on the left, I open a secondary Chrome browser. From the secondary browser, visit care.va.gov. Once the page loads, you will be prompted to enter an alias. Use the alias provided to you in your VVC appointment email. Now, enter your name and tap Connect. At the next screen, you can select your microphone and camera and check your self view. Once you are ready, tap Start. At the next screen, you will need to enter the PIN provided to you in the VVC appointment email. Once entered, tap Connect. You will now be placed in the virtual medical room. Once the veteran joins, their name will appear under the participants list and their image will display. To disconnect from the visit, tap the red phone icon and then confirm you want to leave the session. This concludes the VCM CAG tutorial.